There's so much I want to say. I'm also really excited uh, about working on a film, a documentary, um, which is about living with cancer, it's about dying, and it's about how to live. I think the tragedy is when people are still desperately trying to find the cure. You know, and this includes driving to Mexico, you know, to, to, to try out, you know, ground up apricot pits or whatever. I, I, unfortunately, what that does is it takes, you know, it, it takes them away from their families. It takes them away from the people, the very people that they need to be with as part of their dying process. Because when you're dying, you still have a contribution to make. You're still, you are still, you are still contributing to the quality of the people around you, including yourself. In a sense, everything she does is to extend um, not only her longevity, but the quality of, of her existence in, in every way. Why do we die? Well, we die because we're alive. But it doesn't have to be a sad and dismal process. That only happens when emotionally we try and push it under the doorstep and deny that it's happening. If we accept death as part of our life, uh, we can learn how to deal with it. And one of the ways to learn how to deal with it is becoming familiar with that process through watching somebody else who's dealing with it. It's not an easy journey, but no one ever said life would be easy. So at any given moment on the continuum of the last seven or eight years, she could have passed away knowing that, that she was prepared spiritually. Because as she says, spiritual development is the only thing you can really take with you. The thing is, if you really do deal with it, you, what you get is freedom to live. When you get freedom to live, you can have a good time, you can have peace, you can contribute, despite what external circumstances there are. I like experiencing life so there's nothing left over. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be floating around looking for a home. I'm jumping right into the next life. It, it's, life really is a, uh, you know, I should say death, really is a celebration of life. It's just, it's because it's, it is so, it, the intensity of it and, the, and the, the experience that you have around it is so, is so high. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's remarkable to me. This poem she wrote about four days before she passed away and simply called it her death poem. And it reads, live for me, laugh for me, do good and give to the world for me, grow for me, share for me, mourn for me, but let your own spirit fill again with friends, family, and new laughter, or I'll come down and kick your ass as a gopher or a horned owl. Ha ha, 